So in this lesson, we are going to solve exact differential equations. Now a first order ordinary differential equation given of the form m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equals zero is said to be exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. And then we can simply write that as m y equals n x. Now if the differential equation given which is m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equals zero is said to be exact then what this primarily means is that there exists a potential function f of x y which is a function of x and then y such that the derivative of the function is equal to m of x y dx plus n of x y dy now let's call this equation one now again the derivative of the function f of x y is said to be nothing but the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x times dx plus the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y times dy and we call that equation 2. Now notice that the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and the partial derivative of the function with respect to y are all functions of x and y. Now comparing the two equations here, you realize that the function m of x y is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x and then the function n of x y is also equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Now since the exact differential equation which is m of x y dx plus n of x y dy is equal to zero then what this primarily means is that the derivative of the potential function f of x y is also equal to zero and thus the general solution of any exact differential equation is of the form f of x y equals c where c is a constant now basically in today's video what we are going to do is given a differential equation we are going to test if the differential equation is exact or not. Now, if it is exact, then we move on to find the general solution of that differential equation. Notice that a differential equation of the form m of x, y, dx plus n of x, y, dy equals zero is said to be exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So now let's move on to the next section where we are going to take a couple of examples so in our first example we are going to solve the differential equation 1 minus 2 x y dx plus 4 y cube minus x squared dy equals 0 so the first thing we need to do is to test for exactness now in the previous section we said that a differential equation of the form m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equals zero is said to be exact is said to be exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x now comparing these two equations you realize that we have the function m of x y to be equal to 1 minus 2xy and then the function n of xy also to be 4y cube minus x squared. Now the next thing we are going to do is to find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and then the partial derivative of n with respect to x and see whether they are equal. So we have my and that is equal to now to find the partial derivative of m with respect to y, what we are going to do is we are going to perform differentiation on y and then we treat x or any other value to be a constant. Now when you differentiate 1 with respect to y, we are going to have 0 and then you have minus. We are going to treat 2x as a constant. So we are going to perform differentiation on y. Now derivative of y with respect to y is 1. So 1 times 2x is 2x. So you have 2x. And then you simplify this as 
negative 2x. So that is the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Now let's move on to nx, partial derivative of n with respect to x. So the same way you are going to perform differentiation on x and then you treat y and any other value as a constant. So when you differentiate 4y cube with respect to x, you have 0 minus. When you differentiate x squared with respect to x, then you are going to have 2x. Therefore, we have nx to be equal to negative 2x. Now, since the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x, it follows that the differential equation given is exact. The differential equation given is exact. So the next thing we are going to do is to perform integration on the function m of x, y and then n of x, y. Now, we are going to integrate m of x, y with respect to x and then we integrate the function n of x, y with respect to y and then we merge the two functions. So that is what we are going to do. So for the integral of m of x, y, dx, that is equal to, now we have m of x, y to be 1 minus 2 x, y. So that is equal to the integral of 1 minus 2 x, y, dx. Now let's try to solve further. So this time we are going to perform integration on x and then we treat y as a constant. So when you integrate 1 with respect to x, you have x and then minus. We are going to perform integration on x. So you maintain 2y. So this is 2y. Now when you integrate x with respect to x, then you have x. And then you increase the exponent by 1. So 1 plus 1 becomes 2. And then you divide by the total exponent, which is 2. Now, in this case, we are going to neglect the arbitrary constant of integration. So we simplify this so that we have x minus 2 cancels out 2. We are left with x square y. So minus x square y. So that is the integral of the function m of x, y with respect to x now let's move on to the integral of n of x y with respect to y so we have the integral of n of x y with respect to y equals we have integral of that becomes 4 y cube minus x square dy so let's solve this together. Now we are going to perform integration on y. And so here we have 4y cube. So we perform integration that becomes 4y. We increase the exponent by 1. 4 divided by the total exponent minus. Here we have x squared times 1. So when we integrate 1 with respect to y, then we are going to have y. So that becomes x squared times y. Now 4 cancels out 4. We are left with y exponent 4 minus x squared times y. Notice that at this point also we are going to ignore the arbitrary constant of integration. So we have the integral of n of x y dy to be y to the power 4 minus x squared times y. Now the next thing we are going to do is to merge the two functions. So we have the function f of x, y to be equal to. Now at this point, we are going to write each term only once. Okay, we are going to merge the two functions and then we write each term only once. So we start with this function. We have x and then minus x square y. And then we move on to that function. We have 
plus y to the power 4 and then notice that here we have negative x square times y which has already been written here and so we ignore the additional one and then this is equal to c now since we are supposed to leave our answer in the form since we are supposed to leave the answer in the form f of x y equals c then we say that we have our general solution to be x minus x square y plus y to the power 4 equals c so this happens to be the general solution to the differential equation this is the general solution to the differential equation so basically this is how to solve an exact differential equation now let's move on to the second example so in our second example we are going to solve the differential equation 4x cubed plus 3y squared plus cos x dx plus 6xy plus 2 dy equals 0 so in this differential equation we have m of xy equals 4x cube plus 3y square plus cos x and then we have we have n of xy also to be equal to 6xy plus 2 now for the differential equation given to be exact then it means that the partial derivative of m with respect to y must be equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x so let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y so we are going to perform differentiation on y and then we consider any value or any other variable let's say x in this case to be a constant so when we differentiate for x cube with respect to y then we have 0 plus when we differentiate 3y square with respect to y we have this 2 the exponent multiplying 3 so that we have 6 and then y and then we reduce the exponent by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 plus when you differentiate cos x with respect to y then that is 0 therefore we have my to be equal to 6y now to the partial derivative of n with respect to x we are going to perform differentiation on x so here we have 6xy so 6y becomes constant so we have 6y now when you differentiate x with respect to x then you have 1 so 1 times 6y is still 6y and then when you differentiate 2 which is a constant with respect to x you have 0 so this is finally equal to 6y now since the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x it follows that the differential equation given the differential equation given is exact so the next thing we are going to do is to perform integration on m of xy and then n of xy so we are going to integrate m of xy with respect to x that is the first thing we are going to do later we integrate n of xy with respect to y so we have m of xy to be that is 4 x cube plus 3y square plus cos x so let's do this together now we are going to perform integration on x so we are going to integrate 4x cube so that becomes 4x we increase the power by 1 so exponent 4 divided by the total exponent which is 4 plus here we have 3y square times 1 so if you want to integrate with respect to x then we are going to have 3y square x plus when you integrate cos x with respect to x then you have sin x we are going to neglect the arbitrary constant of integration so we simplify this as 4 cancels out 4 we are left with x to the power 4 
plus 3xy square plus sin x. So that is the integral of m of xy with respect to x. So now let's move on to the second one where we are going to perform integration on n of x, y with respect to y. So that is equal to, we have the integral of n of x, y, that is 6xy plus 2 with respect to y. So we are going to perform integration on y. So we have 6x as constant and then we perform integration on y so we are going to increase the exponent by one so we have y to the power two divided by total exponent which is two and then plus here is two so we integrate with respect to y and then we have two y now we can simplify this as two goes here once two goes here three times so that becomes three x y square plus two y here also we neglect the arbitrary constant of integration now we are going to merge the two functions okay we are going to merge the two functions we have this to be integral of n of y dy so we are going to merge the two functions we are going to merge the two functions so we are going to have f of x y to be equal to as we merge we are going to write each term only once so first we have x to the power 4 plus 3xy square plus sine x and then we move to the second function we have 3xy square repeating so we ignore the additional one and then here we have a new term 2y so plus 2y and that is equal to c now since we are supposed to leave our answer in the form f of x y equals c where c is a constant therefore we say that the general solution to the given differential equation is x to the power 4 plus 3x y square plus sine x plus 2y is equal to c so this is the solution or the general the general solution to the given differential equation so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye